Hey guys, Cytron7 Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Create Mod for 1.16.4. Now, by far, this is one of my favorite mods, for a few reasons. Okay, so, let me just demonstrate something real quick. I've always been a redstone lover, and if you like redstone too, then this is the absolute perfect mod for you. Today... I think I'm going to be working on conveyor belts and item creation. So we're going to start off by making just a casual little iron sword. I I guess that's where we could start off for today. Um, goodness, what's pushing me? Go, go on. Go, go on. Shoo. Okay. Um, oh my goodness, that's a pretty good spawn. Uh, we can actually do it here because it's nice and flat. Alright, basically, this mod allows you to create quite literally anything you want. So if it's a train, or even a plane actually, which I'm, I don't know how to do yet. I've, saw, I've seen one YouTuber do it, and that was really impressive. But if you guys want, I can start a survival series, or I am going to start a survival series on this, maybe tomorrow. So, kind of just prepare for that, because that is going to be a thing. And I probably should just stop talking for a bit and start working on the actual creation itself. Um, <sighs> Alright, basically what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to use the conveyor belts. What you want is you either want a brass encased shaft or an andesite encased shaft. I mean, I like brass more than andesite because, you know, I'm probably going to upset a few people by saying that. It's kind of possible not to. Basically, what you want for this is you want to put on some shafts onto the actual onto the actual brass shaft or andesite shaft. And then you put some more shafts there, and then one more shaft there, and all in all you'll have four shafts. Then you need a belt. Belts are very useful because you right click the shaft, right? And then you right click the shaft you want it to connect to, like that. And then you right click this shaft and right click it there. What we want to do is we would, here let me demonstrate. We want this part to get over onto this conveyor belt, right? Apply power using a creative motor, or you can use any means necessary. I'll go over motors later. And this will slowly make its way over to this shaft. I mean, this conveyor belt. Once it starts moving. See? So that's, that, that's how that works. So basically, we're going to want an iron. Iron furnace. So we get some iron blocks. Or iron ore, I mean. And then we get some coal oh. coal blocks, I think would be way better. It's real actual coal just takes a bit. It's got some coal blocks. And then we're going to start building our actual crafting mechanism. So we're going to want it over here. And this right here, it's called a mechanical crafter. Depending on the versions, if you're using 1.14, I think then it's not going to work. It's probably going to be named different. I don't have the 1.14 version because I was too lazy to get it. But, alright, so then we need these handy dandy goggles so we can see kinetic stress and all sorts of stuff. This is going to constantly be pumping out iron. Um, let's see. Basically, now we need a conveyor belt for sticks. All this can get out of my way. Be amazing. And then we need to attach a large cogwheel or a normal cogwheel. I prefer the normal because it matches perfectly. The larger ones just overflow the entire creation. And there you go. This this now has 32 SU or stress impact at the moment. So, uh, 
I might be calling that different than it is, but I call it I call it stress. Just 32 speed or whatever. Anyway, it's starting to move, and you can really see it. It looks awesome. Anyway, <clears throat> basically now what we're doing is we're grabbing a mechanical arm. I don't know why I got the gearboxes. They're not going to be used until way later. I'm probably just blind. Nope, there it is. All right. So we're going to take from there, and then apply it there, and apply it there. And we set that bad boy down, give it some form of motor, and then one there, so it's going to go around, pick it up, go back around, and place it at the top. You can see it grabbing everything, and it's so cool. Then you put another one down, and then it just shifts its... AI system to the bottom one. If it if it would like to if it'd like to work. Nope. All right. Anyway, so that's how that works. So now we have this powered and this powered. Next, we're gonna need some form of stick conveyor belt. So we're gonna want a second secondary one of these, but first we gotta make the stick shaft or the stick conveyor belt, I should say. It's going to go back here, because it takes a bit for our other sticks. It can be wherever you want. You can have it super close together or far away. It really doesn't matter. With these mechanical arms, everything's so much easier. And we have a depot. I'd say right about here. So depots, basically, you can place items on them. And then you can grab your mechanical arm. This is a take items from depot, and then you place it on your conveyor belt really fun and oh by the way on conveyor belts if you place an item down when you walk over it you can't pick it up you have to right click it probably should have let you know that first this is kind of a tutorial kind of not I mean it's more for my pleasure and more for training but it's whatever so we grab a depot we grab our mechanical arm Place it there and place it there, so we have two places. Actually, I don't want it there. Uh, dead gun. It's fine. Then we place down our arm, power source again, give it that cog wheel, and then we go ahead and grab a stick. Or 64 sticks, I should say. And I'm a, an amazing throw, I swear. Okay, there we go. So now I want to power everything. So we power that. Gum it. That's a, probably a lot. Yeah, it's already cooked 25. Alright. So, this should work completely well now. I'm actually going to want to start th slowly throwing. Oh, dang. One thing I probably want to do. That gum it. One thing I have to do is... If you don't put down a trapdoor at the end, like how I'm about to do it, I'm going to have to move this, sadly, then it will not stop and it'll keep going and it'll just fling itself off. Kept doing that before and then it kept flinging itself off and it was super annoying. Boom. Perfect. And then we get another one, so take from there, put onto there, boom. And then we go ahead and throw down a stick right there. Nice, nice. Bro, chicken, my man. Uh, I'd like you to just not... We're not making a cake factory. Go on. Shoo. Anyway. So now, this should stop here. This links to there. This goes at the bottom. I'm going to put a link down in the description to the create mod. And as long as this is powered, then it'll all get shoved together. And let me actually put down a depot. And then boom. Got yourself a... Iron sword. I can finally go kill that pesky chicken.
Or not. I honestly, I don't care at this point. I'll let him go. Oh. Uh, uh. Um. This was your doing, wasn't it? Stinky chicken. Anyway, now that we got an iron sword, it'll keep crafting like it'll never stop. As long as there's sticks over here, which will be a problem. Uh, what I can actually do is I can just constantly throw down sticks. I had like a ton of other creations on another Minecraft world, but that world got corrupted. It was so sad. Did not see me. Oh, dim. Bro, um, I suck at grammar or spelling or whatever you call it. At this point, I don't care. It's summer. I don't need to worry about this. Hey, go on. Shoe. Go on. Hey, go, go. I'm going to throw this at you. Ho! Well, that's actually gone forever. And you can connect this shaft to another shaft to make it a double shaft, and then so on and so forth, so you can have it up to infinite, actually. So it's pretty cool. And you basically have now an infinite supply of iron swords. And then what you do now is you can have an automation, so we go ahead and grab ourselves a chest one chest and then we put it over here kind of in the ground and then we put a shoot on it or shoot or I don't even know and then you grab it from here and deposit it into both of these and you connect that up to an existing power system and boom this will be delivered into the chute and the chute will put it in the chest and that's it for just this little, really, really insu-insy creation. Not that big at all. But I'm just gonna duplicate this. Oh my gosh, I'm hacking in Minecraft. There's a few other creations I want to make today. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause and grab all my items and then I'll come back when I have all my items. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I have everything. Today, well, <laughs> for the second part we're going to be making a windmill to be able to power all this without the use of creative motors. Basically, to create a windmill you're gonna need these items. You can go ahead and pause the video. Never, well, you already know what black and red wool is, maybe. Cogwheels, shafts, and large cogwheels. Um, if you want this mod, it's just called J-E-I mod, just enough items, or something like that. It's, it's a really good mod. It's perfect for survival worlds if you have a ton of mods. It's awesome. Basically, what you do is you don't have to follow this exact step. This is just the base but what you're going to want is you're going to put a vertical gearbox at the bottom of the base. You're going to build around it with whatever ma material you want. This is just a example material. You build it as high as you want. In this case, I'm going to build it pretty high. And then you line it with shafts. Or you line this with shafts. And then you're going to put another one at the top. Right there. Uh, copyrighted music, just gonna go ahead and boop. And then what you do is you put one more and boom. So now, go ahead and slap a big old lever on there. We attach some wool. I like checkered patterns. Hold on, that was wrong. Watch me spend an hour on this one thing. Oops. Hmm. 
Now it looks like a car steering wheel. You can make a lot of items with these windmills. They don't have to be a certain thing. Uh, windmill bearing. Right, I forgot. Place a windmill bearing. You can place the windmill bearing right there, or you can connect a shaft and then place the windmill bearing. So then I'm going to give room in my inventory. And then this is it. This is like what I made. I'm probably going to put red right there, because why not? Might look okay. And then you press shift, shift right click, or right click. And then it proceeds not to work at all, because I forgot super glue. I'm so sorry. What you're going to do is going to put super glue at all ends to stick the item firmly to itself. This is something you have to positively do no matter what. Super glue in this mod is literally always necessary for mainly most creations you make. So go ahead, place super glue on all sides, place black or whatever color, then place super glue again on that side. Basically, you just want super glue connecting all of these items together, no matter what. Please be certain that it's super glue, or no. No, actually, you know, it's just use super glue, no matter what. Can't use slime blocks, I don't think. Just super glue. Okay, now that, now that we got a basic windmill, now you just right-click this bad boy. Don't have to shift right-click, because that didn't work. Right-click this bad boy, and there you go. It's now... Making, ah, oh, dead gum, and I lost my goggles. It's now giving you a solid 512. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. But, what we can do to speed this up is just go ahead and add more parts to it. So go ahead and grab your super glue, and then just add more wool. The more wool, the faster it goes. And it can reach some pretty unbelievable speeds. That is for sure. Um, Alright. Then go ahead and connect on both sides. Just keep connecting super glue wherever you're going to place a block. Especially on moving creations. I think I'm going to do stuff about trains later and drill trains, which is my personal favorite. Um, and yeah, I'll be right back. Basically, now that we have this done, we can go ahead and start this back up, and we might have higher stress. We had stress level 512, I think, and now we have 1,536. You see, we gained a ton just by adding a few more blocks. So all in all, the more blocks you add, the faster it will go. Now what you can do, go ahead and grab yourself a gearbox, and a vertical gearbox, grab yourself a shaft, and a cogwheel and a large cogwheel, don't need that shaft, and then go ahead and start connecting this. It might lose momentum the further you go, so careful. Also, these shafts are super annoying because they'll take grass as a normal block and they'll just cut themselves off. So now that we got that, we can go ahead, take away the wheel, and put a cogwheel there. Oh, sideways. And boom. Now this is powered by our creation. It's very slow. We'll add more later. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's episode. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. And I I'll see you all later. Peace!